Matt Tanker here from East Bay Strength and Conditioning. I'm going to show you a couple moves that you can work on at home to loosen up the hips. Uh, it's sitting down a lot, um, being at the computer, being at the desk, there are all things that are going to tighten up the hips. So we need to be moving more, staying active, stretching out. So if you don't have time to do that, it's going to be a quick fix that if you put into practice daily, uh, every other day, you're going to start to loosen up the hips. You're going to notice that you have a lot less back tightness and that you're moving more, a little more fluidly when you're crouching down, pick something up, bending over, getting out of bed, getting off of the chair. All right, so the first move we're gonna do, we're gonna be lying down next to a wall. So I'm gonna first show you the off the wall and then I'll kind of demonstrate here so you get a side profile there. We're gonna, we're gonna work into what we call a figure four stretch. So we're gonna get sideways to the wall. The, the closer you are to the wall, the more intense the stretch is gonna be. So if we gotta take a little bit off, pressure off, we're gonna back up away from the wall. Once we get here, we're gonna swing our feet up. So at about a 90 degree bend in the legs to start. So our back should be flat, should be pretty, pretty relaxed. From that point, we're going to cross our leg over, and then we're going to drop our hips down to the floor. So your tailbone should just about touch the floor. You're going to feel a big stretch over on the side of the bent leg. So you can just kind of hold this here and take a nice deep breath in. Focus on taking deep breaths, filling the abdomen, exhaling slowly, hanging out here for as long as you want. Really, uh, you shouldn't have a massively uh, intense stretch. It should, should be kind of like a six out of 10, seven out of 10 in terms of intensity is usually what I tell clients to focus on. So once you've been here for about five or six breaths, a minute or so, we can switch up to the other side. If you need to make that more intense, a little bit more of a stretch, we're gonna move a little bit closer if you're not feeling much of a stretch. Uh, if you need to take a little off, if it's kind of burning and a hard pull, hard to get in, kind of scoot away from the wall and then cross your leg over. So another, another thing you can do without having to move, if you're in this position here, you can take this foot and you push it into the wall. So that's gonna drive this leg up, kind of gentle push down here, and that's gonna intensify the stretch at all if needed. All right, so if you hang out here for a little while, five or six breaths, things have loosened up, feels pretty good. Then you can try driving in for a little bit longer, hanging out for a couple more breaths before we switch it up. So what that looks like from the side angle, you guys are at 90 degrees on the wall, and you took your leg, cross that over, so we're looking to get this stretch down here in the hip. All right, so that's your first stretch. Focus on. So the next stretch I'm going to show you is similar for your hips. It's similar to the one that we did on the wall here. So now we're going to come off the wall. I'll just show you this forward facing so you can see what I'm doing here. So we're off the wall, feet are down, hands by our side. We're going to take our leg, we're going to step off to the side a little bit, about six inches or so. And then we're going to come across this leg just like we did in the figure four stretch. We're going to let our leg kind of slide across a little bit more. So now we're going to grab a hold of this knee, the knee up top here with both hands, and then we're going to pull diagonally across. So the stretch pattern is going to be coming from this hip going towards the opposite side shoulder. You can vary off pulling a little more to the side, a little more straight up, and then diagonally across. But you can notice that's going to move a little bit more to the outside of your hip. It's just going to be stretching a different area. And you can pull this time, your, your glute may actually come off of the ground slightly on this pull. So we're going to get a little bit of a rotation. We're not going to fold all the way over. So showing you that again, we just stepped out to the side, went to a figure four, then slid a little further apart, and then we're going to pull across. All right, stretching a little bit more on the outside of the hip there. The next stretch I'm going to show you is going to be for the quad hip flexor. So I'm going to use this piece of equipment and a dowel we're going to go to a side profile here so you can see. So imagine this being pulling up to a couch. So a couch, anything really that's elevated, could be a chair with a pad on it. So anything that you can get to an elevation where you start to get a stretch on the quad. So this is good to have like a foam roller or use a stick or dowel or bench or something to hold. You can push down. That's going to help you to get some engagement in the abdomen. So we get a little bit of a tucking down, tucking down of the tailbone down and under to be able to get a stretch on this quad here. So if you're doing it right, you should feel it almost immediately if you're tight in this area. And then the same thing, we're just going to take breaths in, exhale in, exhale out, holding that for about five or six breaths. You can go a little bit longer if you, if you like, if you get a good stretch. So I'll just show you from the other side what that looks like. So you get your foot up on the pad, dropping down, using this to tighten up the stomach a little bit, kind of tucking under. You can even engage your glute and drive your hip forward. We're going to push down into the floor here to create the better stretch. So now I could extend out a little bit here and lean forward. We go a little bit higher up. 
and stretch there. You can try to sit back, if you're capable of reaching up and back to try to intensify the stretch there. So you can try a couple different angles, but usually this is standard, just kind of jumping in here like this. This is a really good stretch to start with. You can do your variations off of that. So the last stretch in this series that we're going to do for the opening up the hips, gaining mobility in the hips, is going to be hitting the groin or adductor. So you're going to, ideally you want to be having a pad or towel down, something that uh, is going to take some pressure off of the knees because we're going to be kind of sitting on the inside of the knee. So we're going to get into a four point stance. You're going to get wide, toes are going to be turned out. So you can vary this going out or in a little bit depending on where you feel most comfortable. And then how far wide you go determines how whether you're going to get a stretch right away. So we're going to gauge our abdomen, make sure we keep a kind of a U back. We don't want to end up into that rounded position. And then you're just going to sit back until you feel a stretch in your groin. So if you're pretty comfortable with this stretch, just go wider with your feet, a little wider with the knees. Then the same thing, push back. If you end up in that position where you're getting that tailbone tucking under, uh, you're not going to be getting the best stretch on, on, into the adductor. So make sure that you maintain that position. If you're comfortable to do so, you could prop down onto the forearms and then go back into that stretch. I tend to feel like I get a better stretch when I stay into this position here. So just kind of a, another angle of that. Knees go wide, toes are flared out, and then we're gonna drive back in until we feel a stretch high into the groin area, all right? Same thing, we'd sit back into that stretch, holding for about five or six deep breaths. If you wanna go for a little bit longer, that's fine but that's a pretty uh, good amount of time to be under tension there. If you're finding that you're over, you're getting a really intense stretch, just back off, sink into the stretch, take a deep breath, and then back out. So some of these positions, if you're really tight, you might have to back off a lot, start very low, low level, like five or six in terms of intensity, and uh, you might not be going very far before you start to feel uh, a pull in these areas, especially if you've been a desk worker and you haven't stretched these areas out in a long time. All right, so take your time, progressing slowly, and doing that whole series there will probably be about a 10 minute series for the hips. But I'm willing to bet you're going to get up and walk around and you're going to feel much better. So give that a shot and let us know how you make out.